Welcome back to the King's Corner, the place for all things Bethesda. Nope, it's me, Chimichanga, here on my friend King Fanman's channel for the very first time, ready to bring you some tips and tricks for Nuclear Winter. While I may not be an expert, these tips and tricks are sure to lead you toward those rewards in Nuclear Winter that you've been wanting. Statues, outfits, power armor skins, and more. Join me on this journey into Vault 51. First, let's go through a little review of what Nuclear Winter really is. Nuclear Winter is a 51 player battle royale where you vote for which map you want to play on, choose where you want to deploy on the map that was selected by all players, deploy, grab your weapons, your armor, your bobbleheads, your magazines, run around and collect as much stuff as you can, and then choose to hide or shoot your way to victory. So if you really want to unlock these cool rewards, here's the first thing you have to do. Don't use power armor. I know this may seem kind of crazy coming from me, the person who has around 162 power armors in adventure mode, but it's true, power armor is way too loud and way too clunky to use in nuclear winter. Other people are going to hear you, and the damage resistance isn't that much better than marine armor. So I'd say just stick with marine if you can. Tip number two. Hide as much as possible in the thickest bush you can find. Sometimes it's good to venture out. You'll find things like a nuclear briefcase. But sometimes you try to shoot something and somebody shoots you. So, unless you're a master shot, which I most certainly am not, it's probably better to stay in a bush and try to hide as long as possible so you can get to that top 10 placement and get that sweet extra XP. Tip 3 is for all of you out there who like to shoot and are good at it, and it's get the hacker perk so you can hack a terminal. There are many perks in Nuclear Winter that you can use to create a build based on whether you prefer fight or flight. and one of the best ones is the hacker perk which allows you to use a terminal to either get new codes weapons aid or even see other players on the map temporarily my fourth tip is to choose somewhere on the map when you deploy that is in the middle of the map and the reason is is your first circle is going to either be directly in the middle or have at least one corner in part of the middle of the map and this allows you to have closer access to these circles as they move in and get smaller as time progresses this means that you'll be moving less hopefully shooting less and reducing the possibility that other players might see you and shoot you tip number five one of my favorites use photo mode those poses that you have in photo mode, well, you can use them in Nuclear Winter. And guess what? It makes you a whole heck of a lot more difficult to see. So, just plop yourself down in a bush and put a lying out or sitting pose, and it'll make you ten times harder to see than if you just kneeled. The next tip, and probably the most annoying, honestly, is to place a camp and put down sirens. Sirens are super loud and super distracting, and it's the best thing to use if you want to draw attention away from where you are. Just open your pit boy place your camp, put the sirens, connect them all, put a generator, turn them on, and you're ready to go. They are super loud, and everybody's going to go towards them. You can either use them to get people off your tail, or you can use it to lure people in. Tip number seven is very similar to the last one, and it's to place a camp and put a blueprint that you built in adventure mode down in Nuclear Winter. Yes, this actually is possible. You might have to be careful in how you build it, but it definitely can work. Last but not least, tip number eight is to equip for Nuclear Winter 
whatever items in the atomic shop you might have. My personal favorite is the survivalist outfit paired with a brown flight helmet or any kind of goggles or eye patches that I have. However, if you don't have any items in the atomic shop that aren't bright colors and don't stand out, then just take off your vault suit and go in your underwear. It's much better than walking around in a bright blue suit that signals to everyone where you are. Remember also that you can equip skins for power armor, weapons, pit boys, and your loot bags. So all of that can be customized in the menu for Nuclear Winner. Well folks, there you have it. Eight tips and tricks to hopefully help you level up faster in Nuclear Winter and get all those awesome rewards that you've been wanting. And yes, I really do have 162 power armors in Adventure Mode, some of which have the different paints from Nuclear Winter. Folks, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to King Fan Man for more Fallout tips and tricks. And why not hit that bell notification so you know immediately when his new videos come up. Also, if you'd like to see more of my content, check out my YouTube channel, The Atomic Chimichanga. Anyway guys, that's gonna be it, and we'll see you next time.